currently for putting um, uh, for putting uh, M&Ms or candy or whatever. If I want to deluxe them a little bit, um, what I can do is basically put like a hook in their mouth or little worms or something, and I'll do that right now. A hook is just basically nothing more than a little, little piece of clay turned into a hook. The top end is stretched out. Kind of make this little eye hook at the top of it like that. Like that, kind of bend it over so you have this kind of hook shape or something that passes for hook shape. And uh, and really, you're just a matter of modeling it. I've also put remoras on these guys too, which are just basically new, more fish. What I'm do now is I'll put them on this side. I'm going to score the inside of the mouth, outside of the mouth, and I'm going to carry this right along there, like that. More slip. Mash, mash, all the way around like that. Take this guy, put it on like that. Squish there, turn this sideways. And then just kind of work that in and do exactly the same thing we were doing before. Like that. So it's a hook on the mouth. And we'll go ahead and smooth this in just a little bit. It's kind of hard for you to see, I think, because I am, I'm having to really look at this kind of closely about exactly what I want it to look like. And I know about what I, what I have an idea of, so it's kind of hard to explain to Okay, so now we have a hook. A little a fish line. A fish line is nothing more than just a roll of clay, really, really thin. As thin as it'll go before it starts to crack. And I want it further long, too, so. You basically, you start in the middle, push down, and roll out, and it just kind of stretch the whole thing out, like that. When it breaks off, you just kind of leave it. Um, we'll go ahead and. Flip this whole end. I do want to score it very lightly. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it right up, right up over the fin. Like this. Slip. Take your wand. Stick it in there. Put it over and just kind of, just kind of flatten it down. And once again, I'm not really trying to be careful about it. I'm just kind of putting it on and kind of smooth the edges out. Kind of smooth the whole thing out. Basically just kind of mash it down so it gets all tacked down. So there's that basically. And right at this top apex I'm going to put a little bobber weight. That's going to be just a circle. A little tub end on it. A little pick end on it like this. And we'll kind of flatten it a little bit. So it looks like this, only it's, or I should say it's like that, and then it's flat on the back side. And we'll take the take a uh, straight tool, and we'll go ahead and just mark it right across the top, right across the front, rather like it's split. And then you, when you paint, when you glaze it, these will be two colors. Typically, it's red and white. If you've ever done, especially just take that and just kind of roll over like this. So now it looks like a little bobber, like that. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do basically is do the same thing. We'll go ahead and put it right here. And since it's floating, we'll go we'll work that in. We'll go ahead and put that so it's actually sitting like this. So it's actually kind of like that. Okay, there you go, there. And there we go. One superfish by Sam Guy in Moose Studios Pottery. Come on down, we're in Clovis, California. I'll sell you lots of stuff. I make pigs too, and uh, fish, and all sorts of other functional wear. And uh, there we go. One last shot. Oops. One last shot like this. There we go. All the way around. Oops. There we go. And uh, check in us again. We'll be making more stuff. Thanks. Bye.